Good morning everyone, today we're back with a proper maintenance on the Xbox. I'm leaving my house just before 8.30, we're going to be getting on over to the shop. Now with rain in the forecast, we're just going to be doing lots of tasks around the shop, running a few errands and working on the equipment. Like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below and if you do end up enjoying today's video, please hit the like button as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. But today guys, we actually have to get some equipment ready to go here for the fall uh, leaf cleanup jobs along with a few oil changes and guys, I, I think I've mentioned this a few times, but I actually had a few trucks on order and they both arrived at the dealership. So we have so many different things to do and it should be uh, pretty exciting here, but we are just getting on over to the shop. Now, like I mentioned, because uh, we got uh, rain in the forecast, I thought, hey, I'm going to let the guys have the day off, and I'm going to sleep in a little bit longer. So I got an extra two hours of sleep here, which was pretty good here. Nice to not have to rush on out every morning, but let's get inside here as well. Now, I think one or two employees said they'll come in to help me out if I did need them here as well. But I think, uh, hey, why don't we first get going here on a few things, and then we'll head on out to the dealership. As you guys know, fall is here, and within the next few weeks, we're going to be starting fall leaf cleanups here, so we got to get the zero turns ready. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting a bagger on one, and we're going to be putting mulching blades on the other, which uh, should help us on out here, and uh, we're going to be putting it on the baggage. Uh, this should be actually pretty uh, simple here. We already do the mounts on the back, as you guys can see, so we'll just hop on, and we'll get going here as well. But I hope everyone has been having a fantastic day so far here. Let me know how it is down below. My day has been pretty good. Now, you guys might be asking, where is the homeowner series? I thought, hey, why don't we change it up this weekend and do a few different ones here as well. But we should be just in place there, a little bit further back. And this bagger, guys, uh, actually puts a hose on here for us. We actually have an extra belt uh, down there as well with a vacuum. And this is a very, very good setup here. It's uh, the bagger with the uh, uh, all the accessories for it is right around uh, $3,000. It is expensive but uh, that is definitely well worth it here you guys and see just goes up top here I actually really do like it and you could unload this without even hopping off the mower which is pretty neat here now the next thing uh, really quickly is I do want to add a few uh, things here to our TOX 3500 now a few of you guys uh, did recommend I get the fuel tank here and you guys can't believe it a few days after a few of you guys recommended that I was out at a job and our X grader ran out of diesel here so I actually had to go buy a few uh, gas cans Hands, put diesel in it in this a uh, transfer tank uh, storage tank uh, about 50 gallons is gonna come in pretty handy here and I think I'm gonna get a back rack with a nice light bar I think that'll be pretty sweet Almost an hour later, guys, here we have it. I was able to get it, even the wiring. The directions were pretty easy to follow here. So you guys can see we got the transfer tank here. Actually has toolboxes on the top, which is going to be perfect for some miscellaneous, a few spray cans, even some straps uh, for anything in the bed or the trailer here. Now, I did get the light bar up top here, which is pretty sweet. And that back rack is definitely going to protect that window there because these back windows on trucks are pretty pricey nowadays. And the other neat thing I did here in the back backwards I got this uh, as you guys can see this will be extra helpful for working on the side road helping direct traffic away and uh, making sure they slow down here for us so that we're safe as we're doing our work here but I will say guys what you just saw here was over three thousand dollars that toolbox alone was pretty pricey now the uh, a lot of it went to this LED light bar there which does look pretty sweet here now really quickly guys huge shout out goes out to all the modders for what they do in farming simulator really releasing pretty cool mods like all these here on the Xbox, especially 82 Studios for releasing the TOX uh, truck series, all the different TOXs. And today, guys, we are actually buying two new trucks, one of which is going to be replacing the TOX 2020. We've had this truck for a while, but we need a little bit bigger dumb truck. I do want to move from a gas to a diesel, especially for snow plowing. We're going to be putting a salter in the back and having the diesel is the way to go here. So why don't we hop on in? This is going to be our final drive with this truck here. Now, we put a lot of miles here on it. We average, I think, almost 20,000 uh, miles a year with this. We push snow with it. Although it's a really nice truck, we do need a dumb truck a little bit bigger than this. And like I mentioned, guys, I think it's going to be good for us to move from uh, a gas truck to the diesel for snow plowing. For what we do, diesel trucks are the way to go. 
So like I mentioned guys, we bought two trucks here, one dumb truck, one single cab long bed, and I am pretty excited here for it. Now we are going to go put them side by side and take a look at that here. So there are several differences which I definitely want to showcase. Here we have the TOX 3500. Now I did all the paperwork a few weeks ago, and I, I actually custom ordered this truck here specifically uh, to the company needs. Here we got a plow mount up front here, we have a dually, this is a 7.3 liter V8 diesel. We got the dump bed on the back here. Now, you guys might be asking, Square, why did you go up from it? Uh, the single cab to the crew cab, I thought, uh, for only a few extra thousand dollars, you could do that there. And hey, uh, for snow plowing and uh, also for bringing a few extra guys along, it's a lot easier to fit in a crew cab than to uh, kind of all try to squeeze in a single cab here. So I really do like you guys since the dump bed's a little bit bigger. And this thing is pretty sweet here. Why don't we hop on the inside? Take a look at this, guys. we got a few lights up top there really a really cool truck here this thing looks awesome here so like i mentioned all the paperwork's done and we could actually go on back to the shop now but hey looks uh let's look on the inside here so this has all the latest and greatest here now these were a little bit pricier than just the regular work trucks but hey it's well worth it and this thing is gonna make us a lot of money with all the different things we could do like always, guys, there's a full mods this link down below. And if you do end up enjoying today's video, please hit that like button as it does help out with the YouTube algorithms. We have lots of things happening here with the channel less than a month until FS22, which I'm pretty excited for. Hopefully, we could get some more mods over there soon. And I will be doing a few FS19 videos even after the game gets released. And uh, we're going to be doing uh, FS22 on both PC and Xbox here, which I am pretty excited for. And I will say, guys, having uh, this truck here is pretty awesome. I will uh, say I really, really do like the crew cab. I think that, that does look pretty cool here, but I'm actually going to have one of the workers drop us back off there to pick up the truck. All right, we're back at the dealership here to pick up the second truck here. Yes, we are adding another truck. This is a TLX 3500. This is a regular cab, so the single cab with the 8-foot uh, bed here. One of my favorite trucks I've always wanted. Regular cab long beds. Guys, I think that these are just the perfect work trucks. Yeah, you don't have to pay for the extra space. The crew cab, and sometimes you just don't end up using them as well. But this here is a 7.3 V8 diesel. I got the same engine uh, between all the TLX trucks we have here now we have the plow mount up front i actually did order a few snow plows not sure when they're gonna arrive hopefully they do arrive before the winter months here and i will say guys this dark uh, kind of uh blue looks unbelievable here really do like it looks like there's a, a very similar truck over here uh, i'm not sure that let's see let's see this one says wow this one already sold that is a uh, pretty quick here and this is a dually now i was thinking do we want to buy a dually but we already have a f350 dually so why don't we hop on in why don't we take a look on the inside here so you guys can see this thing is pretty sweet really do like it it's only two-seater with a center console which is a bit more uh, 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 luxurious here now you guys can also see I did get that extra feature on this which I thought would be a pretty neat thing Getting new work trucks, guys, is always exciting, but what's the best about it is our first two or three jobs, really just putting it to work here, seeing what it can do here, but we actually have to head on over to another store, because guys, I bought a John Deere Gator, now it's not a brand new Gator, it has lots of hours on it, I believe it's nine or eight years old exactly, and we are going to be picking it up here, so why don't we back up here to the trailer, we'll just take the small utility trailer, now you guys might be asking Square, why are you buying a uh, John Deer Gator. Well, guys, we are actually taking on a lot of plow accounts. We are going to be doing uh, sidewalks for the town, sidewalks for a few other big businesses that do have some pretty big campuses. So it, it's going to make a lot of sense for us to buy a Gator. And this one already has uh, the winter package on it with the plow, the uh, salt spreader on the back, and the full enclosure here. So this should work out. And I think this was an old farmer's or an old uh, kind of landscape company's. And uh, I was able to get the entire thing. For almost six thousand dollars, I thought that was a pretty fair deal. This thing, brand new, I would estimate it was probably twenty thousand with all the gear. There's a little bit of work that needs to be done here to it, a little bit of engine work, but hey, uh, it's a price we could not refuse and uh, could not pass up on. 
And guys, they have it right out front here for us, which I am pretty excited for. Now, really quickly, guys, I've been doing all my paperwork for everything online here, so it's a lot easier instead of uh, coming to the dealerships, heading inside for an hour or two. I do all the paperwork. I fill out all the uh, uh, information for how I'm going to purchase it, things like that. And it also helps speed up these videos here. But take a look at it, guys. $6,000 for this. I think this, this was a pretty good deal. I think more than likely this is probably worth eight or 9000 bucks. But I think that they're just trying to move it off the lot here as well. But wow, look at this thing. You, so you guys can see we have a 10 cubic uh, yard uh, salt spreader on the back here. We have a straight blade on the front. I'm not sure if you could angle this here. I believe this is probably four or five feet here. We got the gator with a full cabin. Wow, look at that light bar. I mean, guys, this thing is pretty fancy. This is going to come in handy. And hey, uh, we could actually use it for lots of different things here now. We could actually take the uh, entire cab off and we could buy some different attachments maybe to spread fertilizer or uh, maybe use it some different areas here so we can make money all year round with it and that is what we're looking for here I don't want to buy equipment that's just going to sit around all uh, season during the off season I want things that we could use all year round to make us money now guys, if you do have any cool video ideas for me, please let me know down below here. I really do like using your feedback here. It really helps out the channel. But one thing guys, I might have to look into getting some upgraded uh, leaf springs. Uh, upgraded suspension for uh, the TOX here. You guys can see definitely uh, showing that it definitely needs uh, a little bit of an upgrade here. Especially when we're only towing a John Deere Gator in a small utility trailer. So that's something I'm going to have to look into. I mean, there's always something. But hey, uh, tomorrow we're going to get right back to work here actually tomorrow is going to be Sunday so I think Monday or Tuesday we're going to get right back to work and that will be uh, good to go here now I will say guys the last few times they said it was going to rain it has not and it seems like uh, that was uh, today here but we did some much needed things around the shop and we were able to pick up new trucks I, I think I ordered these uh, three uh, uh, four months ago if not a little bit earlier or maybe hey I just don't remember the exact timing here but hope you guys enjoyed today's video thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more